I love drawing in Procreate and I love animating in After Effects. Today I have a very efficient workflow that I'm going to share with you which utilizes the best of both of these amazing programs. I'll be taking my Creepy Kaiju Pal from sketch to fully rigged character. Disclaimer, this is an intermediate tutorial and it also requires Adobe Photoshop. I've got a sketch here uh, that I already started, make things easier. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do is um, create different layers for each element of the rig. Uh, we'll have the upper arm, forearm, these little claws uh, for this kaiju guy. Uh, body, we'll do the mouth separately and the eye separately. Um, and then upper leg, lower leg, the foot will be attached to the leg, that's my plan, and uh, tail. And we'll just copy paste the arms from one side to the other, maybe alter the colors slightly. Uh, so they appear to be in shadow, but this is gonna be a super simple rig. That's my plan. And you notice here, I've got a lot of circles that I drew for all the connecting joints. By starting with circles, you make it so that the joints move um, very efficiently and there's no little parts sticking out. Uh, it's a good trick. So I'm gonna start with a base of probably green for this guy. That looks pretty good. And I use mostly just the brushes in Procreate. Uh, I'll start with the studio pen. Because if you click on that and you see, um, the fill typically is solid, um, 0% opacity. Um, no wet mix. It's very easy to do, uh, design and procreate and not realize that there's some transparency in it. And if there's even a little bit of transparency, it, it may screw up your, your end result. So the studio pen's a great place to start. And uh, I'll start, I guess, with the circles. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just actually do one layer of all the circle joints. And I will use those copy paste to create the layers for the rig. It's a quick little trick. Start with a circle, hold it to even it out, and then press the screen to make it a perfect circle. And ideally you're not <laughs> accidentally selecting the background color. The ease of drawing with Procreate is, it, it just kind of makes you not want to go back to anything else. Um, so I used to do a lot of this stuff in Photoshop and it would take a long time. But now it's so much easier. Okay, so I have my joints here. They're gonna be perfect. So let's start with the upper arm, I guess. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is select the two joints for that and copy paste. Now we have them on a separate layer. I'll continue to do that for every section. Uh, let's say upper arm.
So then you go back to your original layer. Freehand is what I use to select. And copy paste. Now we have another. Select the bottom layer. Go back to this selection tool. This will be per leg. And that's all we need. I think. Bring this guy back up. Get rid of that. And now we can start creating the rig. So just one at a time. Lowering the opacity just makes it easy for you to see the other layers. Yeah. Oh yes, I forgot the claw. So, I'm going to go back here to this one. And because there's two sides of the claw that I want to move, I'm going to copy paste and then I will duplicate that layer so we can have each one on a separate layer. I'll actually do those now. Now onto the thigh. We'll actually do one more here. This will be for the shin. Do the tail next. Actually, I think I want this tail to be a little wiggly. And the same goes for the back here. Yeah. 
here we go. I also wanted to create some spikes on this upper arm. I'll do that. And now for all the added details and whatnot, I'm going to speed through this just so you can see, but those are my basic layers there. I'm also going to separate and put the mouth uh, and eye on a separate layer. All right, and monsters all set, I've rearranged some layers, raise the opacity up. And now I'm going to just do some finer details. And with that, I'd like to get kind of an airbrush look. Um, I think, yeah, you know, I'm probably going to end up just using the airbrush tool here. Um, so one little trick, you can select the layer you plan to work on. I'm going to deselect these arms and tail just so I can only see there. Uh, select that layer, alpha lock. And now you can actually go in and create some uh, colors there. I'm actually, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use this True Grit brush called Lazy Stippler. That's like one of my favorite brushes. I'm going to get more of a like dry stippled effect there. And uh, I want to go for like a, a vintage Japanese toy style look. So I'm not going to be doing a ton of detail with any of this. It's really just going to be uh, looking sort of airbrushed. Very retro. <clears throat> Do that for every layer we work on here. All right, last step here is just gonna to be to duplicate some of the layers uh, so we can shift them over to the other side and darken them a little bit so they appear to be in shadow. And I'm not even gonna bother moving them because it'll be easier to do on my computer. Uh, but what I will do is select them. Um, brr, 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 brr. Yeah, and duplicate each one that I want on the other side. So there's the arm and leg and tail. Okay. So the top or oh, the bottom one from actually the top one from each of these, what I'm going to just do is drag this darker green over it and see what happens. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Make sure to, when you do drag it, drag it into the same color each time. I'm dragging it into the green here. I accidentally lost the orange in that last one. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna take this file, export it as a PSD and I'll save it to my files. <clears throat> All right, so I've opened up After Effects and I have imported my file here and I wanted to uh, just explain something that's relatively important um, before we actually import by just illustrating it here. Um, when you have all your layers in, you, you open up your uh, composition from Procreate. What you'll notice is that every layer um, has no alpha channel even though the background is transparent so you fill up the entire screen with each layer. That can be you can you can certainly work with that um, but it's much easier if you have the alpha already built in. So I have another step that I add to this 
workflow, and that is by utilizing Photoshop in between Procreate and After Effects. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and we'll jump over to we'll jump over to Photoshop. So I have the rig here. <clears throat> And essentially, what we need to do, because all the layers are locked here um, from Procreate, it's just kind of how it's automatically exported. We can rearrange this file so everything is in its proper location first. I can rename the files, and I will do that as well. Um, but first things first, what I'm going to do is select control and left mouse button click on your layer here and that creates a selection around your layer and then I go down here to add layer mask and that's going to eliminate the background being part of the layer when we import it back into After Effects. So do this for every layer So now that I have created a layer mask for each layer, I'm going to go through and select my arm layers and my leg layers separately and move them to their proper place. And I believe these will be my arm layers. So control click on each one to select them all as a group. And then I can just uh, hold shift and drag them over. I would like to flip that. So I'm going to go to transform and flip horizontal. All right, that looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and save, and then we'll bring that file right back into After Effects. And this is very important. When you're importing, you don't want to do the default, which is footage. You want to go to Composition, Retain Layer Sizes, and then Import. And you want to make sure that Editable Layer Styles is checked. Now when I open this file, you'll see each one of these, the alpha is embedded in there, and that just makes our job a whole lot easier here. So let's select all of these layers, and I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity. And this is a nice little trick for setting your anchor point. And we're going to go through and do this for every single one of them. Now, because we had circles here, we can find the perfect center for each one of these and just make our way down and place the anchor points there. 
that's where each layer will pivot. And so having an accurate anchor point is really important to having the movement look natural. It's never perfect, but anything you can do to make it a little better is great. Now, I can bring up the opacity on all of them and make sure you get back up to 100 because if you don't, you're in for some unforeseen <laughs> issues later. I'm going to bring this mouth above the shoulder here. Now for this year, I'm going to just uh, parent each claw to the arm. And then I'll create an IK chain for the arm and legs. Uh, so top claw, bottom claw, I'm going to pair both of these to forearm. Same down here. I'm going to rename this file. Here we can open up Duic. Uh, So I, you need three layers in order to create a limb with the auto rig, but I have Duet Basil 2, 0.2 here. And what I'm going to do is select those three with the top claw being the actual um, part of the rig. And I'm going to go to Auto Rig IK. Look at that. Moves great. Okay. And I will do the same thing with every one of these. Thank goodness for Rainbox. This is uh, one of the best, one of the best add-ons you can have here. All right. I should mention that for the auto rig function. What you need to do is select the first in the chain and then make your way down. So in this case, I'm selecting the claw, then the forearm, then the shoulder. And in order to do the same thing for the feet, what I'm going to have to do is create a null that is used as the foot. Not a major issue here, but And create a null object. Name that right foot. Place it where the right foot would be. Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring the same thing up here and make that a left foot. And essentially, what a null does is it acts, it can act as like a controller of sorts. Uh, but you won't actually see it in your final animation. So that's what we're doing here because the legs are only two layers. And you, like I said, you need three in order to create an IK chain with Duic. So see that? Beautiful. And one of the benefits to keeping a simple rig is that they just move so smoothly when you create them. The more you got going on, it gets kind of chunky and it's just not as fun to play around with, you know? I'll rig that. Awesome. Now I'm going to select 
both shoulders and both thighs. And I'm going to parent all of those to the torso. I don't really need this guy's torso to move at all, so I'm not going to bother with that. But the eye can move a little bit. The mouth can. I'm going to figure out the best way to approach those, but for right now, we'll do the same with the eye. Torso. Mouth also to the torso. And there's a lot of fun stuff you could do here. I was, I was playing around with the idea of making this mouth. Um, I was playing around with the idea of making the mouth a vector object or, you know, being able to edit path shapes. But I think for here, just to keep it simple, I'll just utilize some scale to make the mouth open and close a little bit rather than try to close it all the way. And I want this guy to have an eyeball, so I'm going to create a circle for his eyeball. Name that pupil. And I'm going to parent that to the eye. Now wherever wherever this dude's body goes, that will go as well. Um, hmm. Seems like my parent to the torso didn't work, so I'm gonna do that again. Yeah. For the tail, again, to just keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and just do puppet pins here. And because I'm not using puppet pins elsewhere, I don't even need to rename them. Usually you want to rename them in the mesh section here, but I will not. What I'm going to do is go to that mesh. I'm going to select all those puppet pins and also in Duic, you can add bones. That creates null objects that will now control the shape contortion without having to go inside of the file, which is great. And now I can select these three in order. One, two, three. Auto rig. And now I've got a moving tail. Ta-da! I'm going to take that top bone from the tail, which is number one, parent that to the torso, torso. So now, again, everywhere the torso goes, the tail is sure to go. And lastly, um, I think I should probably give this guy a blink option. But I also want to give him an eyebrow because I think that would be really cool. And I had it in the original drawing. So we'll do layer, new shape layer. And I want him to look pissed. So we're gonna do no fill and a big ass stroke. Yeah. This guy's pissed. I'm gonna open up Butt Capper. One of the most underrated add-ons here. And that, as you can see, turns the edges to a nice round cap, which is super useful. Shape one. Now I can open up this layer here, which I should name Eyebrow. Oop. Okay, open up the eyebrow, go to contents, shape, path, and I can select the path and now I can edit the path. And I can do so in order to change his expression ever so slightly. 
And what I'll do with that is I'm going to start with an angry face, make a keyframe. You zoom in real close here and move ahead one frame. Select that center and raise it up. Another keyframe. Now I'm going to open one of my other favorite little add-ons, joysticks and sliders, and I'm going to route that to a slider. With the eyebrow selected, I'm going to go over here to Slider Tools, Create New Slider, and that's going to be Eyebrow Control. Eyebrow will also be parented to the eye. And now we go up here to the eyebrow control. Actually, we already got it selected up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. You want to see a quick mouth rig? I kind of I kind of would like to do that, I think. Why not? Shape layer new shape layer. I'm going to name this mouth. I'm going to take the actual mouth here and I'm going to lower the opacity. Is it the one I just created? Of course it is. There we go. For the mouth rig I'm going to go ahead and make it a black fill. And using the pen tool, I will create a mouth shaped as such. Change that stroke here and uh, reduce the collagen in his lips. It's a little unbecoming. I'll go a little bigger. I'm not going to do like a full mouth rig here, but I think I just want it to be able to open and close. So. We're going to duplicate this mouth, the top one. I'm going to open up the shape here, go to fill, and lower the opacity completely down. <clears throat> so this will be the lips. You'll see what I mean as we go here. Essentially, what I'm going to do is take this path from that shape, Alt, left click, and that gives the option to pick whip. And I'm going to pick whip that shape to the shape of the mouth. Yeah. There we go. By pick whip whipping to the mouth, I can now lock this layer and it will ultimately move. wherever I move this path. As you can see here. That will be useful because I'm going to create some teeth as well and a tongue. So for the mouth, I will shut off that guy. And mouth two is going to be tongue. We make this a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I'm going to make it the same shade but way darker. And beautiful. And Another shape layer will be bottom teeth. I'm 
You should probably have some kind of yellowish teeth, right? They don't brush very well. Going to duplicate that tooth, bring it on over here. <clears throat> And then duplicate the bottom teeth, make them top teeth. Oh, top, 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 top teeth. teeth. <laughs> Tip, Tip top, top, top of the teeth. And we'll spin, spin those around. around. Oh. Control, double, double click, click on, on the anchor, anchor point tool. tool. Will change your anchor point, which, which is pretty, pretty useful, useful sometimes. sometimes. Case, Case in point, point right now. now. There, there we, we go. go. And, and here is probably, probably the most Complex, complex thing, thing that we're going to be doing for this whole rig here is creating a, a little rig for the mouth. Nothing, Nothing too crazy, crazy, but mainly will involve a little bit of shape animation. We don't need this mouth anymore, so we'll get rid of it. Where's the other mouth? Where you at? Oh, shit. I added the tongue to the mouth. Okay. Center, Center the anchor point. point. Center, Center the anchor point. point. Center anchor point. Center anchor point. Center anchor point. I'll, I'll do, do the same, same thing for the people here. here. Anything, Anything that, that I added in After, after Effects, I'm going to want to do that too. Or else you end, end up with some wonky business, business going, going on. So, pass shape. shape. And I'm, I'm just, just going to make this a slider. It's going to open and close, and, and that is it. I'm not, not going to get too crazy. see how there's, how there's a lot of possibilities, possibilities with something like that, that. But, but for right, right now that's, that's all I'm doing we're going to create a position keyframe for the tongue and for the second keyframe we'll just move it up a smidge there and we're going to do a position keyframe as well for the bottom teeth Lift them up. Works, Works for me. Top, Top teeth, we're, we're just going to... to we'll actually, actually have, have all of these parent to the, the mouth. mouth.
but I don't, I don't need to add any keyframes key frames for, for the top, top teeth because they, they don't need to move. move. So, so the lips don't need to be part of this. We're going to do bottom, bottom teeth, teeth, tongue, and, and mouth. And, and they're going to be a mouth open, open. slider. <laughs> Perfect. And now the last finishing touch on that mouth, we're going to go down to channel, uh, effects, channel, set mat for the tongue. And the tongue mat is going to be the mouth. And that just gets rid of those edges there. The lips should handle uh, The, the lips should be able, able to cover, cover anywhere where the teeth, teeth are. Yeah. One, One of the unforeseen, unforeseen things here is that this claw actually moves with the hand. <laughs> that is amazing. Last, we'll add a blink here. So find the eye right here. New shape layer. I'll just, just keep, keep it simple. simple. What, what color, color should it be? I'm going to give him a pink, pink eye. eye. We'll, we'll make, make it a little, little bit darker. darker. This will be eyelid. I'm going to duplicate, duplicate that, that rectangle. rectangle. This, this will be for the top eyelid. Parent it to, to the, the eye. And now we can animate both of these. Just, just position. This, this will be the open position. 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 Great. Call, Call that the blink, blink controller. controller. Oh, let's see here. Now that that's, that's settled, settled, parented to the eye, I'm going to realize, realize that I need to bring this pupil down, down just below the eye lid. lid. And then, the same, same thing we did for the tongue, tongue. I'm going to go up to set mat, mat. and we're going to have it be set to the eye shape. Solution. Duplicate, Duplicate the, the eye, put, put it above, above the, the eyelid, parent, parent it to the eye, and then for, for track mat, mat we can say, say well, we'll do the tra tra track mat, mat on eyelid, eyelid alpha, alpha mat, eye two. There, there it is. Blink, blink controller. controller. <laughs> and, and that was, that was so fast. fast. I, mean, I mean, this, this is a short, short tutorial, tutorial, but 
you know, you know from, from start, start to finish, finish for this was about two hours for me, which, which is great. great. So, so if, if I was speeding through this, you know, it could have been an hour long. And uh, it's really fun, really fun one to use. Easy, easy to, to animate, animate. Looks, looks great, great. You, know? you know. This, this guy, guy is locked, locked and loaded and, and ready, ready to stomp, stomp on a city near you. you. Watch, Watch out. out. There it is. I hope this tutorial helps you creating your own magnificent monsters and kooky creatures. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for checking it out.